Hi, I'm Leah Wentworth, Youth Services Librarian at McCracken County Public Library. And I'm doing this teen craft program in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Hispanic Heritage Month is uh, from September 15th to October 15th each year. And it celebrates Hispanic and Latinx cultures um, and heritage, heritages, which includes a lot of countries um, around the world. And you can learn more about Hispanic Heritage Month at hispanicheritagemonth.gov. So the artistic technique, the folk art technique that I want to uh, play with today is called Rey Pujado. And um, in your kit that you have picked up from the library, hopefully, you have a tin uh, tiny pie pan and some permanent markers of assorted colors and some design ideas. I am choosing the sun and moon to use for mine. Um, Ray Pujado is a technique of using a rounded tool on the back of a sheet of soft metal to create a raised design. So we're gonna use these pie tins and we're gonna use our markers with the lids on as our rounded tools for this today. And we're gonna try it out. If you wanna look at some awesome examples of current um, Repuharu technique, uh, there is some art by an artist named Luz Belida. Um, and her website is artmexicanoluzbelida.com. And here's that looks like on her website. I'm going to cut the flat center out of my pie pan um, so that I have a small working surface. And I'm going to save this outer part to use for framing later on. Get started. So I have my small tin circle. It's uh, slightly thicker than foil, but um, not too thick. You can do this with any um, thick foil um, or uh, aluminum pan that you can find if you want to do find a bigger um, canvas to use. And then I'm going to uh, trace my design onto my tin. I might have to press hard. <clears throat> and I'm doing this on a wooden table and you can see my circle that I've just drawn but it might be better if you can find a piece of cardboard. Let me find a piece of cardboard with uh, paper to put this on. So I've used a piece of cardboard now <clears throat> to trace over my design a little bit. And I don't know if you can see the design. Not super happy with how it came out in the middle, but I like the lines around the edges. And now I'm gonna use the colors I got in my kit, which are, um, green, orange, and dark blue to uh, color it in in a fun way um, to make it really stand out. I don't know if you can see very well with the reflection how this is going, but I'm gonna um, go back in with the backside of the marker lid and um, flatten out some areas kind of did that in the center, but on the edges, I'm going to, um, instead of just doing the lines, I'm going to sort of tamp down the spaces in between. And then alternately, like every other space that I made on the outside border. Tore it a little bit on the edge too, but that's okay. I think it'll still look cool. It's my first time trying this, so kind of an experiment. So it's starting to come together. I'm just um, taking my time to fill in all the little spaces that I've marked off um, by rubbing down with the lid of the marker. Um, and then now I'm coloring in those spaces. And I'm also been 
going to work with this um, outside part. I have been um, pressing down on it to flatten it and trying to um, push it back into a circle, which kind of takes some work. I am sort of pinching together little pieces of it and I'm going to put it back into a circle by pinching it together and continuing to press down and flatten it out um, until I have sort of a, another circular flat shape. I'm going to put this together with my glue stick if they'll, they'll hold. I think they, they will if I apply the glue stick and then let it sit for a while before I um, touch it again. And then this is really easy to um, pierce. You could take a thumbtack or something and make a little hole if you want to hang it up, or you could glue it onto something else if you want to use it as a decoration. And still, still got a few things to color in here though. Hopefully you can see this um, in spite of the reflection there I'm getting, because um, it is shiny in the foil. I found that when I made a mistake, I could wipe it off with my fingers. <laughs> my fingers are getting a little messy. Also, I was very careful. Um, I went around the raised areas on the outside and I was, had to color very lightly with the light green to kind of fill those in um, so it didn't press them down so there would still be the texture there. And I'm done with my design. Now I am gluing them together. And we'll come back in a minute and see how that goes. So I'm applying a lot of glue stick to this paper and then I'm going to press down the um, background on it. And I think that will stay. I'm going to have to be very careful when gluing this down. I'm going to put glue underneath where it goes and then I don't want to press on it too hard because I don't want to um, damage the pattern I've made. So I'm kind of just going to press in the center here where I had um, flattened it out and oops, pop up a little. I think I've got it stuck. I'm going to let it dry before I handle it too much. And then I'm going to trim the, the paper on the background um, or maybe um, color the paper a little bit so that it um, doesn't isn't just a big white field. So that's what I've got so far. I hope you enjoy yours. Um, I really want to see your results too. So if you want to post them to us on our social media, on um, we have TikTok, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, of course, and we have Twitter. And we're at mclib.net at symbol M C L I B D O T N E T. Look us up.